crafting. We're working hard, boys. We're working hard. Blade shield. Okay. Let's see what we got. Level three damage upgrade. Let's have two damage upgrades. So we can make it 36. And then what should we do? Chance of destruction or critical hit? Critical hit. There's only four disruptions as well. There you go. That's like literally one of the only things we can upgrade. Plus that. You get out of my way. Thank you. While we're here, let's switch back to our tech and rats and stuff. And then let's go talk to uh, Dandola. And then we're gonna go find the. Uh, no, wait. Let's talk to Master Connors real quick. My dear Zachariah, splendid to see. Good to see you too. Uh, as well as can be hoped for. And that is good. Hoping he will have some uh, more dialogue, but guess not. All right, Dando. Zachariah, what can I do for you? I moved the rover for you. If Ophir finds the road in, it won't be because of me. Yes, I already heard. Sorry if the request seemed paranoid. Better safe than sorry. Talk about the damage rover wouldn't be you. You want to attack a convoy to reignite a war? You know how many people die in those wars? How many are mutilated? Taken prisoner? Not precisely. But I think I have a clear idea of the numbers, yeah. Every battle has its purpose, Zechariah Manser. Abundance has fought Aurora for years for more power, out of idealism that their philosophies are more righteous than Aurora's. We don't just fight the corporations because of their damned ideals. What we do, we do for our survival, for the survival of the misfits of Mars, the rejected, the poor, the outcasts of corporations. We fight for those who find a home with us, those I promised to protect. This mission worries you, and I get that. I do. Which is why I'm not asking you to attack your old brothers in arms, but rather just carry out the same attacks you did countless times before, under different command. Hey. Hit. I wonder if we can just talk to ameliorators and use writers. So, just when I thought shit couldn't be worse. Her engine's been blown like a John in a whorehouse. Gonna need some spare parts now. A stator, a thermic regulator, a rotor. With only a few rovers out there, it's not like you can just grab those parts from the nearest merchant. There is one in Ophir, though. He used to have a machine for me from scratch. And I heard there may be someone else here in Noctis who sells them, too. However, when it comes to prices, since we don't have abundance and support, it's not the same anymore. Uh, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, honey. I wouldn't mind seeing you go broke, but there are other options. Let me think. In my shed, I had a replacement stator ready to go. I imagine that the area is closely monitored, but if you manage to sneak in, maybe you could recover it. I also had a delivery waiting. The quartermaster, Ryan Stewart. I imagine he must still have a rotor in his inventory, since I'm not there anymore. It won't be easy to get it back, but that's your problem. I go back with Ryan, know his inventory well. Though with all those soldiers in the barracks, it'll be a tough nut to crack. The final option's a robber I heard of who parts everything he fucking finds. Not a guy I'd want to grab a drink with, but I heard he's got spare rover parts. May have one of the ones we need. And I've heard that he wasn't interested in serum. Maybe you'll have to take chances, who knows. Anyway, it could be a lead. One last thing. I found the tools I'll need. However, I was in such a rush that I forgot to take my serum. I don't have a single drop of it left. 
And since around here they don't give away freebies. Here, take this. You will be able to buy your tools. Well done. Wow, this is great. You just have to go get me the parts now. I'll take care of it. The shed, Ryan's inventory, the looter, or if I want to go broke, the merchants. See? I remember everything. All right, you think we'll just go to the, the merchants, right? No, we will not take the easy way out. We won't do it. We will go to the merchants, though. Not to buy anything, but to sell all this useless stuff in my inventory. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got here. It's telling me to go outside. Welcome. Well, I'm looking for spare parts for a rotor. I have a rotor, if you want. The rest, and Maybe we'll get more strength, so I'm gonna just leave that in inventory. Okay, we still have all those. Destroy those. Sell all of these. Keep one though. Now we're back at under 200. All right, we're gonna go do this the hard way because I actually want to go back into the, uh, you know, the thing. Talk to people for extra dialogue. Because why not? And now that we have a full blown master technomancer on our side, what well, the strongest technomancer that ever lived besides us. You know? Find a satter and a rotor. Find a thermal regulator. Okay, let's uh. Follow this quest. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. We travel to find a rotor. Oh, wait a second. That's not telling us to go outside. That's telling us to, uh... Let's go get the uh, thermal regulator first. I believe that's what it is up here. Let's go beat him up. Question. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. Not yet. I wonder if you had any more to say to me. Now maybe we could cuddle together in the bed. I mean, you suggested it, not me. When all's done, I'm gonna go back to my Dragon Age Origins playthrough. EBH. Uh, hello. Let's go. Oh, hey there. Need something? Got a lot of mechanical stuff. I was told you might have spare parts for a rover. I'm looking for a thermic regulator. Oh, yes. Yes, I got one of those. Hard to find, very hard, very rare. Hard to come by. What would you give me in return? How much? Zero. No, 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 no. 
But something this special is going to cost you more than serum. How much? Serum? Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to see what happened by press that again. What do you want for it? Hmm. Well, I see two possible trades. I'd love to get my hands on some of that focus drug. I know it's not meant for us, but it gives me a nice buzz. Otherwise, you're a technomancer, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm. Good. Good. Well, I like to poke around old place. Just the other day, I found a technomancer glove. I can't seem to make it work. Like most all the Technomancer stuff I find. Well, I can repair most things, but this, I don't understand how it works or anyone is supposed to do. But I'm sure you do. To repair it. In front of me. You fix, I watch. You teach, I learn. So in the future, I can do the fixing myself. Got it? You do this. I'll not only give you your thermic regulator, but let you walk away with the glove, too. Maybe. Let me think. I wasn't sure if I saved before this or not. About that rover part. Yeah? What did you... Alright. I'll show you. What? Look, it's more complicated. Yeah. It looks even more broken now, which I could have done with a rock and a bad attitude. Anyways, here are the drugs. Be careful. Look at me. Let's reload. Time to reload. This is what we save. Oh, wait, it needed science? I don't think he can do anything with the Technomancer gloves, to be honest, anyway, so. It's not exposing the secrets, I just wanted to see. Okay, let's, uh. Go to science. We need more science. Where is it? Science, science, science. Doctor Skull. That boy looking real, real nice out of it. Yeah? Ah, it's crafting. Maybe. Where could this beat him in the mouth? Oh, where's the fun in that? Crafting. About. Yeah? What? 100%. All right, I'll show you. Watch close. There you go. Not exactly like new, but it works. That's fantastic. You know how much Technomancer gear I have in inventory that I can fix now? Oh, you're a good man. Here, keep the glove. Take your rover part. I don't need it anyway. Take care. See you around. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was wondering. Right there. We gave him the drugs who wouldn't get the Technomancer equipment. Master's gloves. Chance of destruction. A lot more damage. A lot of chance of critical hit. Does critical hit chance stack? Question mark? What's my critical hit? Doesn't say. Go lucky. The strength. One one three one. Distance is disruption. Anyways, let's see. Strength. Three two two. Let's just level it up again. Oh, got the master's gloves. I really think we're at the end game. CBH. We're somewhere close to it. Don't get me wrong. We're only 13 hours in, but we're already finding master tier equipment. We still need to get the other set of uh, things, so we need to go to one more area before this, I believe. Got a little fear. So we got to go back to where our place in the slums it shouldn't be that hard i'm probably going to end the gameplay in 15 more minutes though also uh never mind there's no point in saying that because by the time this episode goes out
the other thing I'm about to mention will go out too. So I mean, what even is the point? Mm, that's the real question. So what we need to do default is go up. Man, the amount of times we've been through this area is crazy. All this backtracking, my god. That's why I don't play single player games to begin with. You know, Mario is really glad. I've always wanted to play this game. And with the uh, the poll I did on YouTube and my friend saying that I really like this game, which I, I do for the most part. I don't think about it, no way. But other than that. Sorry, I stopped there so I can listen to the uh, my stream. It seems like I need to turn down the beatings just a little bit more. Okay, I forgot to see. I want the music to be up. I forgot to change uh, save the settings. But no, the beatings are too, are too strong. I mean, he has no survivability, but he does a lot of damage. And I respect that. Amelia is probably the one who will survive most encounters, depending on the enemies we face. If we face other Techno Masters, she's really gonna die. There's not really much I can do about that either. Okay, so we wanna go the same way we went to go get Scott's gear. And he has uh, Technomancer abilities too, which will make him extremely valuable against uh, certain enemy types, like shielding enemies. Let me level up. So let's see. We would potentially get one on Charisma. But let's uh, get this last one, the lockpicking. That's all the lockpicking we need. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with these two characters to the end of the game. Most one of them miraculously die. Which I mean could happen, but I don't see it happen. At least not these two. Maybe the giant mutant. Or Nisha. More than likely not Scott. Could be Scott. Yeah, I haven't had that on in a while. That's something I know. Didn't really think about that earlier. But the more damage I take, the faster the shield goes away. This is something I really should have thought about or seen before. Now look at that. I don't even got. <sighs> yeah, I like him. He doesn't die fast now that I gave him equipment. Now that he has his arm back, he's an invaluable member. Especially because we can open doors too. No more locked doors. No more locked doors. I'm not sure where that comes from, but I remember that. No, it's weird. In other games. You seem to get more XP for at the beginning and less in the end. But in this game, it seems like I'm getting more XP at the end than I am in the beginning. This is only the beginning. That's a reference from Smite. Oh, wash. No, I actually want to see if lockpicks tier 3 are actually worth my time. Seeing as I can open them now. Probably put some points in the stealth. Or something else. Definitely some points into charisma. There's a chance you can get everything now. 
TBH. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we need eight more points. That's 24. I'm not sure if we need eight more points or not. Don't quote me on that. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. I put the master gloves on, but I didn't... Put the Techno Master jacket back on. Whoops. Save again. We can at least get her stuff. The thing... Modder. Isn't there any right here? Yeah. My god, she does a lot of damage. Did a lot of damage. Did he get shot at the same time? Oh, there Boom, dead. Just like that. They thought they could handle these hands, but they couldn't. And I think from here we're gonna go to one of the other things. And then probably compete the beggar's quest, too. Anyways, what's it? Okay, we need to go over to the right. So we can get that out of our inventory. Assuming we can actually go to the uh the other place. Yep, I'm dead. I should have stopped attacking right there, but yeah, that was bad. That was real bad. While exploring, you can display a thumbnail map of the surrounding area with RT. Did I already stream to you? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's all right. Remember. So why I don't remember that. There he is. Get him. What even is that? You got the moves I've never seen before. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. Let's see what we get from his body. Well, I guess we did it better the second time around. Got more stuff. The best stuff. Yeah, we gotta go to the right. I'm not sure why I keep going to the left. He's throwing my shield. I'm gonna take the shield off too. Yes, it is. Here's the bars. Yeah, I want you. Of all the people here, you're literally the most dangerous to me. Okay, it's about time to pull out this. Okay, Lucky's dead. Maybe I underestimated this, uh... Attack. Yeah, I wish it was a smart AI. Ooh, I'm glad I that. Okay. that would have killed me too, TBH. But when I saw it right there at the last second, I knew he was going for the little fast side attack that they like to do. I just blocked instead of punching. By punching, I mean swinging my axe. Alright, let's go actually open this. This tier 3 thing. Let's go down.
Okay, where is it? The war jacket. Hopefully something interesting. Not really. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. EBH. I'm just gonna equip this. I have to stay equipped. Never know when I'm gonna find another chest in there. Ooh. Level 3 lock. What you got in there for me, will you? Just some parts. You think with Amelia here, so all we need to do is uh, ask her for the key. But I guess not. Alright, so where we want to go? We want to go out here to the right. Let's save whenever we go out here. We're going to save one more time after we get to Ophir. Bunch of big boys are. Oh, they're all enemies. Okay. Well, that was easy. I like it when they fight each other. So I wonder what happens if they're both our allies and they started fighting. Do they not fight anymore, they're both our allies, or? Real question. All right, let's go. That's the Underworks. Why am I going back to the Underworks? I wanted to go to the, uh, <sighs> the other uh, thing. Maybe now that we actually have a quest to go into the place, you'll, uh, Eliza will let us in. That's my initial assumptions anyways. Let's go back out. Oh, I think this is where we actually need to be. Not particularly, but... One pat. Uh, let's fight these guys. Because I upgraded this damage, it does 36. Okay, so that's actual flat damage. Which I appreciate. Because of most games, you want to get a percentage of whatever you see. This game seems like you get all of it. Okay, we're good. Okay, now is that real? We're just right, lucky, even. Okay, he's just chilling over there. Do you skin the thing? Is that opposing? Our inventory is almost full again. Really enough. We're having to really do a good job of, uh, you know. Which way do I want to go? Do I want to go to the right or to the left? There's probably enemies in there too. Let's go over here. It's just I want to see. You're not our luckies here. Yeah, boy. That's what I like to see.
Are there any of here? No. They're only here because of uh, the first area. Question, what's over here to the side? In the, uh, arc chest that I need to get? Tier 3 chest? Nope. I know there is one here. Not here, but, uh, in the sanctuary. Chapel. Almost all weapons can be upgraded. If you want to replace an upgrade, just recycle what you've already installed. Bet. Uh, I guess. That's uh, actually. Open this tier 3 chest. And then I'm going to end the stream and restart another one. Because the stream's gone off for too long. How are we going to get out of here? Open sesame. What you got for me? The master gloves? That's really disappointing, TBH. I would have thought, because we're in the Technomancer chapel thing, it would have given us something Technomancer related, uh, related. I guess not. There's nothing in here, so I can just, uh, go back on my Techno Man. The real question is, is it just gonna let me leave here? Yeah, okay. We do actually have to go talk to Watcher your face or come in from another access point. I believe. Yeah, that's enough for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and possibly subscribe. It's up. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but it helps more than you know. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know down in the comments. But until then, I'll see everyone in the next part of my uh, Techno Mantra Let's Play.